Okay, good uh, good day to everybody. So we will discuss the, the next topic about uh, week five, module five in uh, uh, organization and management. So the topic is about the nature and levels of planning and types of plan. Okay, so have we, uh, as we have um, discussed with our previous topics from week one, definition of uh, management theories, including uh, concepts, and then week two, function roles and skills needed for a manager. And for week three, roles of business in the environment and how the environment affects the firm. Okay. And last meeting, okay, last week, we also have discussed about the forms of uh, economic roles of business organizations and phases in economic development. Okay, the roles of business when it comes to uh, economic development. Now, uh, we need those uh, topics uh, for uh, this topic about nature and levels of planning and types of plan. Of course, we have discussed about the environment wherein we will apply uh, the SWOT analysis, uh, strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threat. And then of course, adding the PES analysis, political, economic, social, and technological aspects that is affecting the business. Now, how can we use uh, all of those things when it comes to planning? And of course, the question is, what is planning? Okay. So before we go on with the, with the, the topic, okay, I will show you the slide. Okay. I'm going to show you this uh, slide. So the nature and levels of planning and types of plans. Okay. The different levels of planning and types of plan. Why is it important? Okay, so these are the, the different topics that we have discussed. Weeks one, two, three, and four. And we will use all of those topics in order for us to understand the, the next topic. But before that, let's recall. So the direction from forms of business organization, identify each statement below, whether it is sole proprietorship, partnership, corporation, limited liability companies, or cooperative. So we have uh, different examples here. So you will identify, okay, it may be incorporated or unincorporated. What is that? These are hybrid forms of business that have characteristic of both a corporation and a partnership. So what is that again? And then it can be transferred to new owners fairly easily, okay? So which among those uh, okay, uh, forms of business organization, uh, this statement will fall, okay? So that is for let's recall. Now, before we, we go on, with uh, our topic. Let's define first from the start. Let's define first uh, planning, okay? the definition and role, uh, nature of planning. So when it comes to planning, in, in layman's term, this is what they call thinking before doing. So you, you have to think, you have to plan. Okay? Same thing as planning, thinking before doing or or having a plan. And in uh, other definitions also, this is most basic of all managerial functions. So as you will remember, what is planning again in the uh, functions of management. So that is the first one, okay, planning. And we, we have here uh, the definitions from uh, coming from the, the experts or what they call uh, persons who already have the study about management. So according to Weyrich and Kuntz, 
if I pronounce it correctly. The planning involves selecting missions and objectives and the actions to achieve them. Okay. It requires decision making, which is choosing from among future alternative course of action. So planning involves uh, decision making. When it comes to decision making, choosing among the alternatives or alternative course of action, which among those actions you're going to use. So uh, it requires decision making. And from Newman, planning is deciding in advance. So you have to decide in advance what uh, is to be done. That is a plan, is a projected course of action. Okay, what is to be done? And projected course of action. So if you are targeting, you have to are targeting something. Of course, uh, you need uh, to prepare for that. Okay, make a plan. Okay, because you are projecting something projecting a course of uh, course of action okay so among this uh, the two definitions you can see uh, they have a common word about deciding okay deciding uh, also encourage us to think okay so based on the definition as you can see you need to decide you need to have an action and of course, uh, it requires uh, an activity, okay? So it's not only thinking, you need to have an activity. So how can you apply that in management, okay? So the essential nature of our characteristic of planning can be highlighted by the following points. Okay, so based from the definition, when it comes to planning, it is a goal, it's goal-oriented. Okay, when you say goal-oriented, uh, a manager cannot do anything unless the goal is specified. Okay, so what is your goal? What is your main goal? So based from that main goal, you are now to do the activities. Okay, in order for you to reach that goal. So planning is goal oriented. Okay, and the other, other one, planning is futuristic in nature. So based on, on your module, okay, planning means looking ahead. Okay, looking ahead or thinking ahead. So futuristic in nature. It, it does happen before, now it will happen again. So based from what you have did, now you, are, you have to do the activities in order for you to achieve your target, okay? Futuristic in nature. So what will you expect for your business in, for example, uh, for one year? So you will be targeting okay, a, a particular goal and uh, do the activities okay, in order for you to achieve that. So futuristic and planning exists in all managerial activities. So later on, we will discuss okay, the, the, how planning is being applied by managers to different levels in, in uh, different levels in the company that uh, okay, applies management activities. Okay, so all of this are included in uh, planning. Okay? Activities in managerial uh, included in planning. And planning is not a guesswork. Of course, if you will plan and plan uh, for, for a success, do not guess. Of course, you will have a basis. What will be your basis are uh, the things that you have done, your the things that uh, have been done by your business. Okay, and planning is flexible. Of course, there is no perfect plan. Expect that there are some changes. So it is a dynamic in process. 
So, capable of adjustment, the need and requirements of the situation. So, if you, if you already have made a plan, then of course, something happened. You need to make an adjustment. Okay? It should be flexible. Okay. And the following steps can be can help the business plan better. What is that? Okay, because uh, you, you need okay, something, okay, you need to be guided. So the first one is devise a plan. Okay, you need to write the important details down and focus on strength, okay, according to your module. So devise a plan. What are the strength of, of my business? So you will be applying what we have discussed in week three, wherein we, we consider the environment and we make use of uh, the SWOT analysis. What are the strength of your business okay, in order for you to achieve your goal? And what are the weaknesses of your business? that will uh, hinder you or uh, okay, make your, your, your plan difficult. And then opportunities and threats. Okay? So opportunities are, and threats are outside of the, the company. Uh, strength and weaknesses are inside. So devise a plan based on those, that scenario. That's why we have discussed that earlier before having this one, applying uh, planning in your business. So devise a plan, put that into writing. And uh, the, okay, uh, this will help you to communicate okay, uh, it to your employees. So devise a plan first, okay, put it into writing. And then of course, you will share that to your employees. And another one is define success. So uh, you already have a plan, but also consider the thing that you have done before. If you have successfully delivered, but that is not perfect, uh, you can revisit, revisit the activities of your uh, uh, business. Check, check the things uh, in detail, the things that will be improved. Okay, that will help you uh, in order for you to Okay, include that. If you fail for a particular item in, in your plan, so now you are creating a plan. Okay, include those things, you, the difficulties that you have from your previous plan. Okay, although it has been successful, of course, you want to improve it more. Okay, if, for example, you are delivering uh, a product that will be done for a week, for seven days, Okay, have a goal to make it six days. What are the things you will do? You need to adjust, you need to improve. Okay, although you have delivered, yes, but of course you need to consider the, the things needs to improve. So define success and of course put it in motion. So uh, that means. Uh, uh, track and analyze numbers, okay, to help you manage the work behind numbers. Okay, so uh, analyze the numbers, the results. You'll be better able to make uh, changes or develop new plans. Okay, that will help you manage better according to the module. So put it in motion. So uh, do it, okay. So if you already have the, the plan, put that into writing, and of course implement, okay, put it in motion. So it, it will not only be, okay, stay as a plan, but along the way, along the way, you as a manager will apply that, okay? So that will guide you, uh, just like a framework. It will guide you, your, your business, because you already have a goal, so how can you achieve that goal? You, you have a detailed instruction based from your plan, okay? 
So those are the things that you will do. And of course, we will need to consider the different types of plan. And the first one is operational plan, okay? Tactical plan and strategic planning, okay? Strategic plans, operational plan, what is this? Tactical plan, what is this? And strategic plan. So as you can see, uh, uh, the things here, if we will also consult the module, and then operation with regards to activities, activities of uh, the operation of business. Uh, okay, managers also are planning. Okay, so the, the, there are two types of plan in operation, standing and single use plan. Okay. Uh, in order for you to deliver uh, the required products to your customers, of course, detailed, okay? detailed instructions are needed. And of course, this, this pertains to standing. Uh, the products that you are doing, you will do that again for this, uh, this year, for example. So it will be guided by policies, procedures and regulations okay that is what they call a standing okay standing plan so uh, it has been successful it is noted already uh, how long is the delivery okay how did you do that so it has been affected by policies procedures and regulations that is considered as your standing plan and how about single use plans Okay, so single use plans uh, refers to the plans, for example, one time project or event. Okay, of course, you will include that in your standing, standing plans. So what are the things that you will do? You're going to allot, okay, allot uh, a time or activities or resources for these single use plans. Okay, uh, the, the, the management and of course the business still need to consider this, uh, for example, new products to be launched. You need to include that in your activity. Why? Because later on, okay, this can be a new, uh, new type of business again. So it can also be considered as a uh, okay, part of your uh, operation, but you are doing it uh, futuristic. Okay, when you say futuristic, the effect will be uh, if there will be orders with this single use plants, okay, single use projects or projects, uh, later on, it will also be included in the standing plans. Okay, it will also be included in the policies. Proce procedures will also be created for this single use plants and then regulations in doing this uh, new projects. Okay, so those are the activities being done by operational plan. Okay, the, the plans for operation. And uh, when it comes to policies, procedures, and regulations, there are the differences between the three. When it comes to policies, these are the guidelines for smooth operation of the organization. Okay, policies of the business. They cover things like hiring, firing, performance, okay? Uh, and then promotions and discipline. So uh, policy when it comes to hiring, okay? You can apply the, the uh, theory, okay? It can be, you'll be applying the theory included in your policy. The things, the things that you will be doing in your business when it comes to just like a, uh, a law, a law in your business or a rule in your business. These are the policies. And we also have a quality policy. When you say quality policy, the business will be focusing more on quality. So if, for example, quality comes first, uh, a manager will decide to better choose quality instead of 
of course, uh, quantity. Okay, better not deliver if the delivery will have uh, some failures or rejects. So that will affect the quality of the product. So that is only one example for when it comes to policies. And uh, for procedures, these are the steps to be followed in establishing and repeated operations. So procedures, there, there is already, for example, there is already a procedure on how to do the product. So okay, you will follow the procedures. If you will not follow, for example, you are an employee, did fail to follow the procedure, it will affect the, the uh, quality of the product. Of course, you need to follow the procedures. It is already intact. And if you will not follow, it will result to consequence, consequences. Okay. And then, of course, regulations. So when you say regulations, allowable and what is strictly prohibited in an organization. In other words, regulation is a kind of rule that addresses general instructions. Okay, so rules and regulations. Regulation is more detailed, okay, detailed compared to policies. So regulation when it comes to when I was working, uh, sleeping inside the company premises, or uh, so it will be prohibited based on the regulations you will be penalized if you will be sleeping inside the company. Okay, so detailed, more detailed compared to policy. Okay. Policy is more wider compared to regulations. Okay, so those are the differences between the three and applying plans in operational plan. How about tactical plan? Okay, we have different examples when it comes to tactical plan. So the first one is fill my pipeline with more loads over the next uh, two weeks. Okay, so when, when it comes to strategic and tactical, the difference is the differences between the, the two. Uh, tactical plan is more detailed. Okay, and then the, the, the span that will cover for tactical plan is shorter compared to strategic plan. So as you can see in this example, fill my pipeline with more leads over the next two weeks, more shorter compared to strategic planning that can cover up to one year or, or more. And uh, another example is close more enterprise deals each month. Uh, so weeks, months, more, still more uh, shorter compared to uh, strategic planning. And hire 20 more entry-level sales representatives by the end of quarter one. Okay, those are the, the tactical plan that can be used shorter activities compared to strategic planning. But when it comes to strategic planning, okay, it is a high level overview of the entire business. Okay, it's vision, mission, corporate objectives, and values. Usually it is being done per year. Okay, for example, 2022. Before you go to 2022, September, October, November, during those those uh, months, okay, the company can initiate a strategic plan, the things that you will do for next year, okay? And, and of course, considering the vision, mission, corporate objectives and values of the business. So the things that you will be doing for one year will be affected by the vision of your company. It's a futuristic goal of your company. And of course, mission, as we have uh, discussed in our previous um, uh, uh, topics, okay, is, is more shorter, just like tactical plan. But of course, it's still connected with your vision. When your vision is, will be uh, one of the best business in a particular area, or your mission can be uh, initiating quality product okay, to be sold in, in that area. So having, having the, 
a good quality product later on you will achieve your vision to become one of the best business in that area okay so we have discussed uh, okay, uh, creating good quality product and of course it can be added that you are dealing uh, with employees okay satisfy the needs of your employees so having those two mission later on you will achieve your goal as one of the best business in a particular area, which is that is your vision. And for corporate objectives, it can be more detailed compared to mission. Okay, uh, corporate objectives okay, can can be uh, can have an uh, smart what they call smart. So we also have discussed the meaning of smart. Okay, specific measurable, uh, attainable, realistic or relevant and time-bounded. And of course, considering uh, uh, values. We say values, these are uh, the things that will guide uh, your employees on achieving the, the mission and vision of your company. So, Okay, this is also very important. Okay, very important in in, in having uh, in including this one in your okay, planning. Okay, values. Of course, there there will be negative values. Sometimes negative values that you will remove. So you will be initiating positive values in order for you to achieve your uh, vision mission and goals okay so that will be included in the plans okay in the plans and uh, we will also consider planning at different levels of the firm okay so how will a particular business apply planning okay, in different levels so what are the different levels considered having your initiating the planning it is the top managers middle level managers and lower level managers who will play the role or who will be considered uh, on the top level managers middle level managers and lower level managers so for top level managers these are the ceo okay chief executive officer chief Finance officer, chief operating officer, okay, and vice president and corporate head. So they are the ones who are thinking about, uh, they focus on the goals of the business. So particularly on vision, mission, okay, and uh, goals of the business. So they, they are the ones, top level managers. Okay, so okay, uh, these managers are responsible for controlling and overseeing the entire organization. They're the ones who the firm significant uh, play the significant role in mobilization of outside resources okay so they are the ones the ceo cfo eoo vice president corporate head in my previous job okay the, there is a coo chief operating officer and uh, three different vice presidents vice president for operation vice president for uh, another type of uh, products okay so they, they are divided and then, of course, uh, different managers are below them. Okay, so the middle managers are the general managers, regional managers, division managers, and plant managers. Okay, the the level managers, the activities of the level managers, middle level managers, are those in the uh, okay. 
uh, responsible for carrying out the goals set by top management. Okay. So they will carry all the, the goals they implement. Okay. They do so by setting goals to their department and other business units. Okay, so the, there is a okay, vision and then the goal of the entire business. And each of these middle level managers will also have uh, goals okay, that is connected with the goals initiated by top managers. Okay, middle managers motivate and assist first line managers to achieve business objectives. The middle managers may communicate upward by offering suggestions and feedback to top managers, uh, top executives. So feedback will be going up, and then of course uh, instructions will be going down. Okay, how about the lower level managers? Who are this? They will do the job for lower level managers. They are the first line managers or supervisors. The supervisors are the one okay, who is directly handling the rank and file, the rank and file employees or directly uh, managing, okay, managing the activities below. Okay, if there are complaints, they will be the first, first line managers will, will uh, be the one to oversee okay, before it will go up. And as you can see, these are the activities, top managers, level managers, middle level managers, lower level managers. When it comes to uh, uh, things, okay, uh, uh, focus on dealing with uh, implementation of, of the, the goal. Okay? So lower level managers, as you can see, it is below because they are the ones who are implementing okay, uh, directly communicating with the rank and file employees okay. but when it comes to decision making or setting the goal of course the top level managers they are the persons responsible in setting the goals middle level managers of course they will have their goals in their departments and lower level managers of course uh, when it comes to creation of goal, they will give feedback. So smaller portion, but of course they are still included in, in creation of the goals and objectives of the company. Okay, but as you can see, it's opposite. Okay, when it comes to creation of the goals, okay, which includes in your planning. Okay. So in Let's Apply, as you can see, these are the things, okay, direction, modified true or false. So you have to check if these different statements are true or false. And in Let's Analyze, it can be seen in the module that will be sent later on in each um, section. And let's evaluate. So one, two, three, for activities, which of the following are correct? Explain each correct statement in one sentence only. Okay, so that is the last part. Okay, thank you for watching.